Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I was going to take you through my personal statements for both MD and DO schools um, because I basically used the same essay except for the last paragraph where I changed it for um, either programs uh, for a DO program mostly just to reflect the osteopathic tenets and the philosophy and before we start I do want to note that my personal statement is no way perfect um, I think I was reading it a couple weeks ago and I was like wow I kind of wish I changed that but I do think that it added to my application and the strength of my application um, not to be cocky or anything but just because I feel like my personal statement was really reflective of who I was and it really tied together my entire application which I talk more about in my um, entire AMCAS application video and I'm just sharing my essay today just to give you guys some inspiration and how the personal statement can be used to tie together your entire story and the different parts of um, your pre-med journey, etc. I just hope that what I wrote can help get the creative juices flowing for how you can basically sum up um, your entire life or your entire four years, whichever it may be, into this really nice like little essay that is really important for your entire application and it's kind of scary how much weight is put onto this. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Eso es bonito. ¿Qué estás dibujando? This was pretty. What are you painting? My mind quickly translated, but all I could respond with was una rock. <laughs> Thankfully, she laughed, and the other hospital volunteer replied as I tried to recall my high school Spanish. I showed the patient the Dia de Muertos rock that I was painting, and she asked me to paint a rock for a daughter that she had just lost. While I showed her how to make paper flowers, I pieced together a mental image of a composition that could bring her some peace. I joined Art Card to provide patients with a creative outlet. After art guided me through my own experiences with death in my family, I realized the potential that art can have to impact lives. Growing up as a shy girl in a single parent household where I was often left home alone, art seemed like something selfish. Connecting with people through art, I discovered that it's actually a vehicle that allows people to share their vulnerabilities. As I explored an intersection of art and medicine, I noticed many similarities between the two seemingly different fields. On one hand, my art professor asked me to have extra vision to understand the contortion of the underlying muscles. On the other, the physician I was shadowing on a medical mission asked me to see beneath the skin to discover what was wrong. Looking at the patient's back, I saw an abnormal bump the size of my fist and the answer with that observation. However, the physician told me that that was only part of the story. The scope of the issue was larger than I had realized. Because the rural areas in the Philippines do not have access to the healthcare, he has to consider realistic post-surgical care while treating patients in addition to diagnosing the issue. As an artist, I know my art is shaped by my life experiences. I was short-sighted to not use extra vision to see what the human eye cannot. I became a patient advocate shortly after this mission, where I gained a better understanding of how socioeconomic factors impact a person's health. There's no way to expect a person to maintain health without addressing important questions such as how is she going to get to the hospital with no money for transportation? Or how is $20 going to be enough to feed her kids for the month? Although I was frustrated knowing that I cannot address the entirety of these questions, seeing my determination mirrored by the healthcare workers I worked alongside motivated me. In the examination rooms, I saw physicians actively seeking to build trust with their patients to provide a more holistic treatment that considered beyond the scientific diagnosis. Medicine, like art, allows people to share their vulnerabilities to paint a complete picture. Just as creating art and patient advocacy challenged me to explore new ideas and overcome obstacles, science did as well. While studying behavioral neuroscience and conducting research, I gained an appreciation for all the complicated interactions that happen within the body. As I investigated a potential biomarker of depression, I knew that it would only ever tell me part of the story. Medicine stands at the intersection of how interactions between biological and social effectors affect people. Medicine is so much more than a science. It is an art that extensively uses science. It draws on multiple systems of knowledge, not just on a molecular level, to understand health and illness. Physicians have the chance to understand and experience the entire spectrum of an individual's life and to be present at a person's most vulnerable state. They have the ability to combine all the understandings of what it means to be human to heal people. It is the most empathetic and interdisciplinary approach to humanity there is. 
I will continue to love using my hands to create art, especially if it can help others. But I want to help people in a way that only medicine can. Although challenging, the impact medicine can have on a person's life is immeasurable. I am to be a physician who seeks to understand people as more than just a pathology and to understand who they are in order to practice individualistic care. In fostering an understanding of a person that transcends cultural and socioeconomic barriers, I can help address systemic inequities in healthcare. Through my experiences, I know that I desire to approach a person's health in a holistic way that combines both the art and science of medicine. The end. <laughs> Um, and then for my DO application, I basically only changed um, two sentences in the last paragraph. Um, and so I'll just read it out loud for you guys to hear. I will continue to love using my hands to create art that helps others, but osteopathic medicine will teach me how to use my hands to heal the body and mind. Furthermore, the philosophy of osteopathic medicine aligns with how I want to practice medicine. I am to be a physician who seeks to understand people as more than just a pathology and to practice individualistic care that focuses on the entire person. In fostering an understanding of a person that transcends cultural and socioeconomic barriers, I can help address systemic inequities in healthcare. Through my experiences, I know that I desire to approach a person's health in a holistic way that combines both the art and science of medicine. The end, part two. <laughs> And as you can tell from my personal statements, it didn't go into like my entire life story or I discovered medicine doing this or I first got interested in medicine because of X, Y, and Z. Uh, my personal statement was very much just one part of the story because I, like I said in my other video, I wanted to curate my entire application, which includes my personal statement. And so I feel like it wouldn't have been as strong as an essay if I actually just share like my entire story of like, why I want to do medicine and what was my first look into medicine, how to get interested in it, etc. I do see a lot of people who also write about that, but I personally did not have like that one specific moment where I was like, yes, this is what I want to do, um, etc. I just kind of gradually got into medicine because of family and experiences and it was also at a very young age and so I didn't really have any like interesting stories to tell about that. And that's why I chose to basically focus my personal statement the way that I did. So I guess it's just like one example of how you can write a personal statement even if you don't have like that one super meaningful moment that some other people have. And I hope that some of you guys found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Um, please leave a comment down below on any other type of video that you would like to see from me. Um, I'm not quite sure what other parts of my pre-med journey um, is of interest to people. So um, if there is anything, if you have any questions, um, please leave a comment down below. If you ever need someone to talk to or to connect with, um, I'll also leave my Instagram down below so you guys can go have me as someone to talk to if you really want, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>